Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. So today we're talking esports packs as these packs have been massively buffed by the addition of paid content that was actually limited edition back in the day. However, you can now get for free by watching Rainbow Six Siege official Twitch streams. So right now you're actually watching me open two of these new esports packs on Crimson Heist. If you actually had some of the old ones you hadn't opened, they have now been updated to these ones. And I've gotten two parts of Pro League packs back from 2017 that you can't buy anymore. That was kind of supposed to be limited edition back then. And they are now in the esports packs. Now I also went over to my Xbox account and opened up these two packs again. This time I actually just got the normal black and white esports stuff. This is the thing. This is still giving you the, the original stuff from these packs plus the paid stuff. Plus, you can still get duplicates as well. So these packs are definitely not fixed in a way that's satisfying yet. But they have definitely been given some really exclusive content that makes them much more appealing now. But I do want to make clear that spending four hours getting a pack should not result in any duplicates. Like these packs should never have duplicates whatsoever at all. And they still do. That is terrible. Now they've also updated how you get these packs as well and this is very important information. So first of all, there is a cap of three packs per viewer per week. This means you cannot get more than three per week. They've also changed it so there's actually a UI on Twitch now where you can see your progress to the next pack. That is wonderful and very, very good. And you also have to manually actually claim the packs. Now, be wary when you hit that claim button, it'll take about 24 hours for the packs to actually show up in game. And presumably if these packs get more popular, which I expect they're going to with this content, then that could be slowed down. We've seen how the previous system basically got a week in delay. So that could easily happen here. Also, a bonus to the Twitch UI here is that it actually has the places you can go to watch these streams that are eligible to get the pack. So it's kind of easier to find out where you need to go to watch and stuff, which is basically any of the official streams right now for any pro games. And it seems that this is probably going to be the case for the long term. Now, of course, this change has been controversial because these packs back in the day had to be purchased with real money and now they're being given away for free. Now, for me, someone who's never bought these packs, of course, that's not an issue. But if you back in the day bought these, because some of these packs were released in 2017 and if you bought them back then, you were sold them on the kind of premise that they were a limited time kind of collector's item that would never return. You'd have something that's unique and here they are being given away for free in these esports packs. And although because of the limit of three packs per week, they're not exactly easy to get, it's still feasible that you could get them before and I assume that they're probably going to have these kind of rotate in and out every season for these esports packs. That's my presumption anyway. And to keep viewers coming back every season, I think they're going to end up, you know, just rotating in and out pro league sets from the past. But anyway guys, to conclude, the esports packs have been buffed in a way that makes them better, but they still have some major issues like duplicates. They are still a pain in the ass to get. You need to watch four hours per pack of live streams, and there is now a limit of three packs per week, which I actually do think is good because it stops me farming them, which I was totally doing before. The addition as well of a UI that actually just lets you know how far you are to progress into your next pack is very very good as well so that's brilliant so yeah there has been some improvements there's still some major issues with these packs but they're definitely better than they were and if you hadn't previously opened any packs you can now open them and you should have some pro league stuff in there anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time